Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Deep Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, Dank Web Browsing, the intermittent part of that month, the uh, bi-weekly series now, where we take a look at that danker side of the internet. I like to end these Sundays off, you know, sort of capstoning the stuff that I find. I like these videos to be intriguing, interesting, mysterious, and whatnot. Ladies and gentlemen, the Deep Web is just the most mis mystical place when it comes to finding the weirdest shit, the funniest stuff, and the most mundane. But ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, no annoying civic douche. Well, let's get into our very first website. Oh hell yeah, Dulce Base. Now this is something that we've kind of seen before, but I'm glad that it's popped up. For those of you who don't know what Dulce Air Base is, this is the conspiracy where uh, they have basically underground survival cities in the United States underground. So these are actually like supposedly real photographs that were leaked out, that were declassified of the Dulce Air Base underground. This includes tube shuttles, potential aliens. Let's get ready to see how real this conspiracy might be. Will I get taken down for the Dulce Air Base? We'll have to take that risk and figure out. But let's let's look at it, okay? So Dulce level 13 to the two. Now these photos are really low resolution. Like if you look around, you can actually like look at the Minecraft pixelization. They're not kidding, it's pretty bad. So this is like uh this is this is the this is the tube shuttle to get to the Dulce base. Level 13 tube shuttles to the hallway. So basically they have like this cavernous design to it and then it's just like a city built in. Like it's actually kind of intriguing. Like they have this cave network, but then like if you look at the floor design, like it's actually like they got proper flooring and everything for it. Like it, it, it's actually rather interesting how they've engineered it. This is people walking around the level 13 like uh, transitionary section. And if you go down, this is Dulce level seven maglev. One goes up to level six and the other goes down to level eight. I believe that's a magnetic elevator. And you got all these people down here looking like it's a, it's a concert. This is Dulce Lab, level seven. The original picture has alien language that can be read. That's not alien. That's a, that's PS1 CGI, okay? <laughs> like, let, that's a shitty PS1 FMV cutscene. Right there, you know we're in for a fucking magical ride. There's like eight more pages of this shit, get ready. This is an Alamau in a jar, all right? All of it looks, looks bullshit, all right? And then you've got this, ooh, get ready. Level 13 Dulce in alien language. So this is an alien language, 13 below. Screenshot from one of the underground levels. So this is Satan. The great horned dragon serpent of deep earth lives down in the advanced city of Agartha, capable of magic, teleport self, night vision, mind reader, fireproof, frostproof, metamorphosis at will, lifespan of 30,000 years, purple eyes, iridescent amber scales. You're kidding! No! No, this is too much! Okay, if you don't know what Agartha is, Agartha is basically like the, uh, if you believe in the hollow earth theory, like reptilians and shit, the concept is Agartha is like where people live, like the lizards and all these like people live in the center of the earth. And like Agartha is like this super advanced society of people. Um, look, man, at the end of the day, I, I don't necessarily believe it, but like, hey, if I ever come across proof of it, then I will gladly accept it because, hey, I like to be proven wrong. If Agartha is real, I'd like to meet my lizard overlords or take them on in, in battle, I don't know. Level 13, Dulce, another destination screen, and this is like other areas, so underground cities beneath Eleusian Galnos, okay? As they enter, they continue, so basically they're talking about secret underground stuff. It feels like I'm looking at like Terminator font or like Robocop font, I don't know. Then they mentioned the Nibiru's moon, so Grand Teton Mountain, Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, AD 2006, 2012. The Merlin Underground Spaceport in connection with the grand arrival of Nibiru. So Nibiru was like the 2012 conspiracy where like the planet X was gonna crash into us and kill us all. Yeah, it's currently 2019 and we're already dead inside with all this other random- What? <laughs> okay, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. I'm 100% done. That's it. It's over. Okay, this this, this is bullshit. <laughs> Level 13 Dulce Destination Screen. If you don't know what that is, that's the Halo 3 logo, dude. Dude, it's the Halo 3 logo. Oh my god, I think I have the copy of it somewhere. Yeah, right here. Right here, boys and girls. Right here. The Halo 3 logo. All right, yes, I have the game sitting around. It's not like focusing and shit, but that's the Halo 3 logo right there. Bro, they lied to you. They diddled you, dude. They fucking shat on my hopes and expectations. Right here, you can tell there's no conspiracies. It's a Halo 3 logo. So, I mean, I guess unless Master Chief or Bungie knows more than what they're letting on, maybe it's real, maybe it's not. Level 3, and then you see Masonic symbols. 
I don't really see too many Masonic symbols. I see a halo symbol, but yeah, okay, <laughs> sure. Then you've got the alien languages, and then you've got like other languages over here. So I guess that's an alien language, that's Arabic, and then you've got like, you know, other languages tossed into it. Then you've got level 13, uh, you know, shuttle stations. If that's what alien ships look like, a, a fucking sperm cell, I don't know what to tell you, it's weird. Greed Colorado saucer base, here they got like holograms going in it. And then you've got the cloning facility. I've seen this alien photo before. I can't, put my, I can't put my mind on it, but I've seen that before. And then you've got new photos that I haven't seen before. This is like a weird cat looking type alien. And this is level 19. So you keep on getting, it's like the Dante's Inferno of conspiracies, right? Like you just keep going deeper and deeper into the layers. And then you've got like a programmable life form. I have to kind of like censor this because I'm pretty sure I'm seeing alien nut. And uh, I don't want you to break your no fap for this month. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that shit away. <laughs> Okay, and then last but not least, if I'm not mistaken, that seems like it's a screenshot from Deus Ex. Like it looks like a screenshot from a video game. What am I? Or Unreal? That's like an that's either Unreal Tournament or like Deus Ex with like graphical mods. I swear to God, it reminds me of like the Area 51 level from from Deus Ex, the final mission, dude. We've seen that one before. This is all like complete nonsense. And of course, the more and more you go into it, the more and more you'll like, you're like, like that looks like it's straight out of Quake 2 almost. And then you'll find like some photos look real, right? Like some photos look normal. This one looks normal. Now this one over here, this is like a loading section. And at this point they stopped giving like hideaways. This is like, this is a really dark decrepit tunnel. This one, this one is like some launch tunnel, like, bros. There is no cohesiveness out there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is the Dulse base pictures. Whether you believe this or you don't believe this, I'm gonna leave up to your interpretation. When I saw a Halo 3 logo, I knew for a sec, I knew I was getting fleeced, okay? I knew I was getting diddled. I was not, I was not given the truth. But, you know, I, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. If I can find a legitimate photo and, or video of Agartha, yeah, I'll believe it. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna say the Dulce era, like, base may just be complete BS. If you want a video on this separately, I'd actually love to make one. So let me know if you want the Dulce air base photo video series where we take a look at the potential possibility of an underground conspiracy city. I don't really believe in it, but hey, I'm always open to ideas. You know me. Let's uh, back out of this and go somewhere a little more proven. So this one is Dangerous Turds, when we're currently at a level three alert. So uh, alert status yellow. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, I almost feel like I've seen this website before. Uh, I don't know what it is. There's just like something about certain websites that uh, it just like immediately clings to my head, if that makes any sense. Um, but I don't think I've seen this. I'm not sure, just something hits me. Representative Gunt Fuck Musket. Republican New York, for those of you who don't know, that's how they uh, signify like people of political affiliations in the states, delivered this important level three alert today. Represent Fuck Musket. I just wanna look, is that like actually a real like name? Uh, let, me, let, me, let me actually try to run it. Uh, what was it again? Representative Gunt Fuck Musket. No, it does not. Okay, Amazon sends lame email begging its employees. Okay, that's apparently like some the Fuck Musket Manifesto. What? Hold on a second. This is just super weird. It actually led to something else. But anyways, let's go back to this page. So, deliver the nuts and bolts of the press release. Dude, what the fuck is up with your name? Gunt Fuck Musket. Didn't mom think it's strange for someone to have a name of a uh, of, uh, Fuck Musket? And what about you? First, how can your parents name you Gunt? How did that work in high school? Instead of asking the front office to page Mike Hunt, it would be Gunt Fuck Musket. Why didn't you change your name? If you were French, your name could have been Horné Gunt Fuck Musket. Think about that. So we're, we're kind of stuck on the name. All right, God bless. Alert, the Melania and Ivanka Trump. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have no political affiliation. I don't care. So uh, before we turn the comment section to a fucking wasteland of politics, let's just relax. Sorry, right, let's see. Uh, Trump lifelike beta version turds were released to private Trump nation voters last year. After a number of extreme injuries and three deaths, the products were recalled. The biological turds division of Fuck Musket, by the way, uh, has learned that both Melania and Ivanka turds packages were tampered with by the fake news and nasty lip tards, according to Mr. Trump, a public service warning. Yikes, you know, you're tossing the words lip tards and fake news. 
but it takes me back to like like I, like I have family that like will sit there and watch like Fox News and like all these like news stations till the end of days and like they'll always tell me about shit that I really don't care or have like no interest in and it's just like I don't know if it's like PTSD triggering, but you, you get the idea. The U.S. Department of Education, Betsy Devos, has created two controversial new items. Intimate blah, 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 uh, dirty, uh, where she leaves her dirty anal plugs in the break room sink. What? Oh, God, anal plugs. Eww, they're like little doorknobs that you stick in your asshole. Eww, God, that's... Now that is a nice thing. All right, I don't want to look into it. Now, this is a pretty lengthy page, but let's look into it. White trash Trump commission, smelly feet, anal fetish, Amway queen turned fascist mom of American children, Betsy Devos, to develop the true unique turd product. Devos, a complete whack job, is second in command of the cult of Amway, stormtroopers, and Mexican drywall contractor division, who apparently has experience with this type of product. Lifelike turd creation is something the Amway cult members believe is the key to unlocking the universal knowledge of the ancient tall Nordic pale people of Jewish descent. Anyways, this private turd creation project was unfunded due to the racist Trump bouncing a $75 check. Really? A $75 check? Bro, like, why didn't he... What? They needed cash to bribe people to collect Melania and Ivanka's turds, and the project was on hold. What? Dude, what am I reading? I'm literally reading, like, it went from, like, like anal, like, doorknobs to, like, the Jewish descent tall Nordic people all the way down to, like, Trump bouncing $75 checks to, like, collect his, like, relatives' turds. Like, what the fuck, dude? Stink feet, anal fetish, Devos, and the cult of Amway stormtroopers and Mexican draw, blah, blah, blah. I think stormtroopers are, like, the white, white, like, you know, su supremacist type individual, so that's, like, the forum board, I believe. Uh, so, uh, figuring no one would notice, the Queen of National Turd Day has a nose for turd and the ability to distinguish a turd from any other turds. That is how she became the turd queen. Melania, the experienced turd queen, quickly uncovered the fraud and Devos and the Amway team were in deep dodo, so to say. The incredible brain trust of Devos and Amway had to come up with a plan and fast. Devos knew the wrong uh, could be developed via DARPA contract. The compound was used for playground sand, road repair, environmental sanitation. Is this like a conspiracy theory for the whole like Trump wall being built? Because I remember reading a while back that the wall was actually being built with like what emergency like military funds or something. That if that's what it is, that that is, this is like the greatest like fucking conspiracy theory out there. So fuck musket. We're a global community of technologists, thinkers, biologists, immunologists. Anti-vaxxers, sorry. All right, let's be real. Bureaucrats, builders, truck drivers, Amway distributors, gynecologists, gastroenterologists. So yeah, okay, they're a fucking group of scientists. Jesus Christ, what am I reading? It's so weird. It's just so fucking weird. You know, ladies and gentlemen, so this is a 2019 page, meaning that it's literally this year. Like this person made a Trump Anti-Trump deal is from what I'm getting. Now, over here, this is actually the page right now. So this is the Fuck Musket Manifesto. The internet is becoming an increasingly important part of our lives. The Fuck Musket Project is a gr global community of people who believe that openness, innovation, and opportunity are key to the continued health of the internet. We have worked together since 1998 to ensure that the internet is developed in a way that benefits everyone. So it's basically like, I guess, the uh, Electronic uh, Freedom Foundation? The, yeah, what is the EFF, man, it's, it's late at night, okay, if I screw up the, uh, if I screw up the acronym, please forgive me, but, uh, yeah, basically it's a group of people that promote open source technologies, communities, basically make the internet free for everyone, and beneficial for everyone around, so whether you live in Africa, or you live in, you know, North America, or Europe, or, or Asia, or, or Oceania, or, or, you know, Penguin Land, or Mars, the internet will be the same for everyone, God bless. So I guess that that is what it is. The internet is an integral part of modern life, a key component in education, communication, collaboration. That's true. So these people decide, these people realize how important the internet is in our daily lives. So they found a way to make it beneficial for everyone out there. I don't know what the whole like, you know, Trump collecting turds had to do with any of it. But uh, I, I guess, I guess that is what it is. I mean, when you toss all these like things around, it just makes you look a little bit unhinged. But you know what? I'm going to leave it where it's at. Like I said, dude, okay? I learned about Melania and, like, Ivanka's turds, like the Trump turd collection fund. Uh, as the first uh, website for this week's Deep Web, um, it's confusing. It's, it's, it's enthralling. And ultimately, it, 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 
it, it, it is weird. <laughs> I guess that's all I can say. What I do know is we have other websites on the front. So if we've gotten the turd fetish out of the way, let's go to the next website. Oh boy. So this is something that I got sent to on the clear web, ladies and gentlemen. This is the demonic etheric implants. All right. So when I get linked to a lot of this stuff, you know, I, I'll consider it part of the deep web, to be honest with you. Like if I get linked to any of this shit, you know, from my journeys out there, then it's it's part of it, okay? I got to it. Especially something that has the word demonic etheric implants. Like, what the fuck are we getting into? <laughs> okay, let's look at this. So, this is a photograph or, or something, a nice CGI image of, I believe, a demonic implant. But when I first started doing Reiki healing, I think I've heard of Reiki healing. I feel like, I feel like somebody's told me that, like, in real life. Anyways, over 20 years ago, little did I know, years I would come across demonic implants during my healings. Having done some research on the subjects, I will lay out some information to help those who suffer and for healers who wish to learn more about them and how to remove them. When you come to think of it, Reiki itself uses a type of very soft dissolving etheric implant for healing. So the idea is that there are implants, I guess, inside of us that are causing pain and Reiki is a part of it. it I just want to see, is, is Reiki actually like, is it, is it? Is it real or am I, am I getting fleeced again? Reiki is a form of alternative medicine called energy healing. Okay, so it's actually like a legit, it's actually like something that is pretty legitimate. Like people, people have it around. So in fact, there's actually locations in my city about Reiki. So it's a, it's a pretty like accepted form of alternative medicine. When it comes to alternative medicines though, I gotta be real with you. I don't really believe in anything like that. Um, call it, call it being biased, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, when you when you have like medical professionals in your family, they get so pissed hearing about alternative fucking medicines because like, I don't know, you have all these people who get into this stuff and and like it's kind of like way back there was like this this like lady that sold like juice. I I fucking forget the name. I don't know. It's like slipped my mind, but all these forms of alternative medicines like people just start taking and and like they they give themselves this like placebo effect where it's like yeah, I guess I'm getting better, but really they're like hurting themselves or they're ignoring actual life-threatening situations. So instead of relying on like proven medicines, right? You know, because th those medicines that are proven have, have had like history and like scientific reasoning behind it. No, they just go somewhere else and like potentially risk their lives. Like it's just, it drives me insane. But anyways, so there are some that I've seen implanted at birth. So most people seem to have something going on. Through an act of sexual immorality, an implant may be implanted and even duplicated and passed on to the next person. So something to worry about besides AIDs and STDs, you may contract an etheric implant. They, DEI, for de demonic etheric implants, are more common than you think. They're mostly for lowering your vibrational level for archon beings to siphon away your energy. When you hear stories about someone who peaked in high school but never seemed to make a life for themselves, they may have been implanted during their first sex encounter, which lowered their vibrational level. You heard it right there. There. Have you done anything since high school? No? Have you have you had sex in high school? Well, guess what, brother? You are infected with a demonic etheric implant. Like, what? What? Okay, like, are you serious? I, don't, I, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't understand it. All right, so, you know, if you ever, God forbid, have, like, an SCD and you, like, pass it on to somebody and the doctor's like, you should make some calls, you'd probably make some calls and say, look, I know we haven't banged in a while, but, uh, you might have a demonic ethereal implant. I mean, if you do that a couple more times, I'm guaranteeing that, like, uh, you get a wellness check at your house and they, like, put you in a fucking crazy suit. In this article, I'm discussing DEIs, and I'm not going to address the hard implants like RFID chips that are a whole different or another type of discussion. Cults and those who practice demonic worship get passed on DEIs for controlling other ether, ether, etherically, which are the passed on type, and each one leaks etheric energy that archon beings may or may not feed upon. Some can be placed in the aura, which can be like a dark spot, and some can affect people so they lean towards their left brain thinking. Some DEIs I understand can be visualized if it were like a cap over your skull, which may be able to limit people's thinkings and creative ability. So yeah, we're getting into a point where people are talking about like these DEIs and like how like they're similar to like RFID chips. Basically you're getting these implants passed on which are allowing people to sight, allowing these like beings to siphon energy out of you. Um, it takes you away from your full potential. I guess that's how it is. 
A demonic being looks for a host to be a person to pass implants on and charges of itself so that it may get passed on over and over and over. Even a video of a person with a demonic being may pass it on. A demonic being shard personality to someone's through the music industry or through other types of mass media. One way a demonic being gets away into the victim's personality is a possession which gives the victim heightened psychic powers. This is why many people who have been part of a demonic being in them have vast amounts of, vast amounts of wealth. They seem to be lucky and make all the right moves making money and gathering power. Uh, does every wealthy person have an implant? No. Just like many people, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now we're getting God tossed into it, vibrational levels, you know, sex that has caused you to, isn't it like, okay, so, so what if, what if you, what if you got married, you, you had a wife and, you know, you had a wife, you, you, you had sex, and then like, what, what, could she also pass DEIs to you? Like, I just don't understand the logic that comes into it. Like, it's just, it's like, when you're out there telling me about this, like, leap of logic science, it's like, you're introducing so many variables that are incredibly difficult to, like, gather and, like, grasp around, and like... When it comes to, like, reality, you expect that if you're going to, like, fire up these, like, synapses, right, they should at least have some strand of connection. They should at least have, like, some logic and truth behind it. I, I just don't see it here. I just don't get it. I really don't understand. I feel like I'm too closed-minded. But, uh, yeah, this is, this, is, this is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting Jesus tossed in, all right? Jesus isn't over here. These demonic etheric implants. Now, there's other things over here. Uh, there's videos, all right, and I believe this takes us to a fucking YouTube. Oh, this does take us to a YouTube channel. The Spiritual Scientist. Okay, all right, so there are, like, there are, like, videos. So this video will break your addiction, 22 minutes. I guess if you want to stop drinking or, or smoking, this is what you got. And that's about it. How old is this channel? 2016. Okay, Victor speaking about spiritual subjects. And Victor has been uploading videos constantly. This is still an active channel. Now, the thing is, I really just don't believe in any of it, but I, I guess that's what it is. He covers a wide variety of suspects, like, thanks to my subscribers, deep state moves against deep state, more cyber attacks, USA airports, self-reflection, this video will break your addiction. Like, Jesus Christ. This is, it's like weird when you come across like an actual like YouTube channel out of it. Like, my Lord. The most viewed over here is the Mandela Effect, the blue banana ice cream or Welcome to Orion Cygnus, or Man a lot of the videos here are Mandela Effect, North Korea Multiverse Glitch Proof. Sophia Robot AI has creepy little Sophia, so it's like, it's kind of just like everywhere. <laughs> like, honestly, it's just everywhere at this point. Um, I, I gotta say, congratulations. I I'm, I'm sure the man has, uh, believes in something, and, I, and I'm looking at it. They believe in it. It's cool. It's awesome. It's great. You know, I just, I just can't take the, the fucking, this, this, uh, demonic ethereal stuff. And then you got this bi crystals. What is this? Oh, okay. So here we're selling crystals. So tumbled labradorite soapstone for eight bucks. Eight bucks. What's the most expensive though? What is the most like expensive? Go to like, there's a lot of stuff he's selling. Jesus. There is a lot of stuff he is selling. Like, okay, this is, this is crazy. This is out of it. So basically, if you want to buy, like, crazy amounts of rocks, you can. They're not, like, terribly pricey, but uh, I, I think I understand what's going on. And then you've got purchase online classes. What? What? 11 bucks for online class? No, no, I'm not doing this. I'm really not doing this. What's a healing? I can request... What is this? Dude, what? 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 No, 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 never again. Deals with energetic truth vibrations of the highest level to allow to affect healing over great distance. Long distance healing. How much is this? General healing starting at $60. Chronic headache starting at $60. Aura strengthening. There's no fucking way. There is no fucking way. It's like, what? Okay, I mean, you know, if you want to give, if you want to give Victor like 60 bucks, absolutely all the power to you. I'm not going to deny that. Go for it. But this is a little, this is a little out there. It's a little out there for me personally. This is like buying long distance healing. Like this is like a rabbit hole that's gone on a little bit too much than I expected. But hey, if you want to get healing done by, by Victor, then go for it. I think that in general, the guy means well. Um, some people really believe this. They can believe it all they want. For me, I'm going to back out of this. And uh, I, I may look at this later. Like this feels like it's a big rabbit hole. So, I mean, let me know if you want me to really look into the Victor, like, rabbit hole, because this would be, uh, 
So it'd be interesting. You can share all your stories and whatnot. That being said, though, I'm not here to purchase any online classes. I'm not here to really care. What I am here to do... Oh, this is what I respect. Okay, if you are experiencing life-threatening or serious illness, you should always seek professional medical help. Are an alternative, moduli, and in no way a replacement for medical treatments. Okay, you know what? I'm a supporter for Victor. God bless. You know, when I go across these healing things, I'm always scared shitless of these people forgetting to, like, tell people, hey, you should help yourself. You know what? Congratulations. If, if you want to get, like, alternative healing, Victor's your person right here. That immediately gave me enough respect to, to endorse this myself. Um, if somebody, if he's willing to say that, that means that the man truly, truly does care for people, I would say. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't want them to get, like, injured out of it. That, to me, that at least comes across that way. But will I order healing? Probably not. I don't really need it, but I'm gonna go somewhere else. Uh, uh, oh, prep, prep, per personal readiness education programs. Another time I got linked to, like, this whole clear web stuff. So this is prep. Now, I don't know what's up, but lately I've been coming across a lot of websites that are talking about, like, prepping and shit. Like, I think everyone's ready for, like, fucking World War III or some shit like that. Um, but for those of you who don't know what prepping is, pre preppers are people that, like, invest a chunk of money into, like, preparing for the apocalypse, right? Like, these people believe that the post-apocalypse will come soon. And honestly, I'm one of those people where it's like, I don't, like, knock on preppers. I know a lot of people look at preppers and they say, wow, they're, like, conspiracy nut jobs. Look, if the worst ever does happen, the higher... Ch these people have a far, far, far more... exponentially higher chance of surviving in the post-apocalypse than you and I, because they've simply prepared for it. But and honestly, if, if you want to take some skills, like... Survival skills are really good to have. Even if the post-apocalypse doesn't happen, imagine being stranded out of fucking sea or something, or like in the forest and needing to survive. Like, this, this would be helpful. But let's go look into this. Doom and Bloom, Dr. Bones and Nurse Amy's Medical Store. I I, I have to open the medical store. What, what are they selling? Hand-packed, custom-designed first aid kits. Educational DVD videos on a USB flash drive. You're joking. They've got books. They've got essential oils with zinc. Uh, first aid belt gunshot kit, all right, motorcycle first aid grab and grow. So they have like first aid kits for a lot of things. And they've got a board game too, Doom and Bloom survival board game. I, oh my God, oh my God, I'm a, I'm a sucker for like these custom ass board games. I would buy this for the sake of just, I would play this with friends actually, that would be super sweet. They have like board games for survival, that is crazy good. Gunshot wound grab and go, what is, what is this full of? What? What am I looking at? Hemostatic gauze? Get What? They're like giving you everything. This is like a crazy, crazy gunshot wound kit right there. And for $189 to own this one? It don't seem like a bad deal, dude. You'd be out there in the, in the post-apocalypse fighting off bandits. You might need one of those. <laughs> let's go to like, uh, let's go about over here. So uh, this is actually a school. So Florida's premier survival school. And preparedness. Only minutes from Palm Beach International. The beautiful Everglades and the scenic wildlife preserves. Areas rich. Whether you are new to prepping or a seasoned veteran, we have something for everyone. With the sheer volume of information out there, it is easy to get lost. So they're legitimately a school and an online store where they talk about legit survival. That's pretty cool. All right. This is like, I can see why like some people would like link this from like deep web stuff where it's like, hey, the world is coming to the end, brother. <laughs> you may need to keep yourself safe. All right. From harsh economic times to record-setting natural disasters, the average American citizen had to learn how to adapt to the new normal. Okay. All right. In any given situation, you should take following areas into consideration. Food, water, shelter, safety, security, energy, communication. Basically everything. Every single thing out there. Basically everything. Want to get off the grid. Uh, for those who are joining in the growing movement of getting completely off the grid, we can help at every level from step one to total self-reliance. I've heard of stories like that when people like go out of their way to like completely detach from society, like they toss away their phones, they go into the fucking wilderness, they build their home, they get ready. I mean, there's a lot of people who do live off the grid. Uh, they have no connection to like the government. They have no connection to a lot of things. It's actually quite interesting And if you have any free time definitely check out a lot of the documentaries that are on like YouTube or like in general About people who live off the grid. It's actually a very interesting lifestyle that they've got Then they've got stuff like the chief instructor. Charlie is our resident chief instructor on emergency preparedness 
Charlie, I'd love to I'd love to sit down and talk to you about surviving in a fucking post-apocalyptic scenario. I have to believe that in the prep classes they have to have like 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 zombie survival training. You just have to. There's no way. There's no way. I don't believe that they don't have anything. Micro micro series. What do they got? Please tell me they have like potential zombie stuff. Not analyzing tactical knowledge and contingencies, alternative energy options, communication and support, advanced food storage. Damn, dude. They've got Hell 9000. Camouflage? Bro, they've got they've got classes to teach you how to make it. They got everything. They really do have everything. They have everything. Keeping secrets when others may be listening. Like they'll teach you how to use tap codes. This is crazy. Like, I'm actually kind of impressed. I would like to, you know, if 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 I do get free time, I would love to come across some of this. They've got a blog that I think is fairly active. Um, I would have to see, right? Like, I would, I would really have to see where they're at in this. Um, they've got, like, a blog that you can read out all you want. This is this is crazy good. They cover every single thing out there. Um, yeah, I guess if you ever wanted to, like, learn how to survive, bros, this may just be it. This, this stuff may save your life. You never know. But what I do know is I am going to back out and I am going to go somewhere else. Good stuff, though. Good prepping. You know, if you if you if you if you're if you're fearful of the end, this may this may be the articles you need. The truth about the Black Knight satellite mystery. Ah, oh, okay, all right. I love me them space blogs, you know, and they talk about them space conspiracies. Now, I actually am a huge follower of like space conspiracies. Like, there's nobody that can tell me like space conspiracies aren't real. Now, there's another thing that got linked out to the clear web, and I see a lot of these things brought up, but. It's it's cause it's cause of tour that I end up finding a lot of these weird ass clear web websites, but let's go look into it. These are around three thousand human made satellites in working order around the Earth. However, if the debris of old and damaged satellites are taken into account, the number increases dramatically. Ever since the Soviet Union launched the very first artificial satellite into orbit in 1957, that would be Sputnik, if I'm not mistaken, uh, various countries around the world have sought to complete in satellites today are used for communication, navigation, and exploration. Satellites are often visible passing overhead as the sunlight reflects back towards the Earth. One of them is impossible to miss, the largest satellite currently in orbit, the International Space Station, at a huge 100 meters across. However, these satellites are relatively unexciting in comparison to the mystery surrounding one very old dark satellite. Okay, so this is the oldest one. Mysterious unidentified flying satellite from STS-88. Now, this is from NASA, and I already know there's going to be people who are like, but all NASA footage is CGI. Look, man, I, I can't prove it one way or another. I'm just going to say that that looks like a space asteroid more than a satellite, but hey. Let's go with it. Legend has that in orbit around the Earth is a mysterious dark object which dates back perhaps 13,000 years. Its origin and purpose are inscrutable, dubbed the Black Knight. This elusive satellite has allegedly been beaming signals towards the Earth and inspected by NASA astronauts, yet only a few on Earth officially know of its existence. The origin of the ominous name is part of the enigma. It is impossible to discover who first called it or indeed why. Humans have only in the last 60 years had the technology to launch a man-made object into space. So, basically, the, the conspiracy, I guess, is that this has been sending signals back and forth, and apparently it's been hidden, like, many people don't know about its existence. If that's the case, then, I mean, SETI is kind of going to be pissed, because you, you would think that after hunting for aliens this long, they finally have, like, some alien transmission being sent back to Earth, right? The Tesla transmission, the first apparent part of the story, begins with signal herds by Nikola Tesla, a brilliant Serbian inventor, and uh, described by many thanks to his often eccentric behavior and opinions as a genuine mad scientist. I don't know much about that, but uh, what did he do? He intercepted a signal unlike any of the natural resources from Earth, such as electrical storms, that he had already investigated in experiments. Okay, it's slightly more likely that though far from probable that Tesla detected was not an orbiting satellite but instead signals emitted from natural objects. Today we know some natural extraterrestrial repeating sources such as pulsars. These are fast spinning neuron stars which emit a rhythmic signal. They were first discovered in 67 by Northern Irish astrophysicist Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jocelyn Bell Burnell. Uh, I hope I got the name completely right. So effectively, the, the thing about this is, in the 1920s, anomalous signals were again detected by amateur radio operators. These were originally of earthly origins, but their timing was bizarre. 
A signal would be received, then a second signal received a few seconds later. So these LDEs were difficult to explain in terms of radio waves. Is that just what happened in Canada recently? Like, apparently we got, like, actual alien transmissions or, like, something that could resemble, like, an alien burst transmission. That's weird. Deciphering them, Lunin decided that the signals were actually messages transmitted by a probe originally from the star Epsilon Boots. Ezar, it had been lurking near the moon for the past 13,000 years. So, it's a satellite from another civilization that got sent over here with the Black Knight. The Black Knight seems to have made another appearance when American newspapers reported in the 60s that there was an unusual object in polar orbit. By then, both superpowers had satellites in equatorial orbit, but polar orbit meant that the satellite could see every part of Earth, yet neither country admitted owning it. This may seem strange, but remember that this was a time of deep-rooted suspicion and espionage, not just with each other, but now seemingly with extraterrestrials too. So they're telling us that we had a three-way fucking Cold War? <laughs> like, you got the U.S., and the Soviets fucking, you know, checking each other out. And then all of a sudden there's Ayla Mouse with the, with the big Black Knight, like, satellite spying on all of us unilaterally. Man, I mean, Jesus Christ. What a world we live in with conspiracies, right? What rife conspiracies we all, under, we all encounter. And then they have, like, multiple videos where they talk about STS-88 debris handheld excerpts and everything. So it is actually a full-on conspiracy that people look into. Right? And, of course, this is actually a clear web website. This is actually similar to a conspiracy website we saw a long time ago, but they were linked over here. This is a 2013 post. So, ladies and gentlemen, I actually would like to know more about the Black Knight satellite mystery. For me, space conspiracies mean a lot. I mean, I believe aliens exist. I mean, I think it's kind of a given that alien life exists 100%, just because, like... There's no way human beings are alone in the universe on their on their on their own lonesome. We're all we all have like other races and other like species out there. So it would be interesting to at one point like come across the true transmissions or like some blip from uh from other species, right? Like I'm one of those people that believes that if there was like an old tier of human beings that were long lost ago, like an original civilization, this may be like the last like data they kept up they might be this might be the key to the future type deal i know that sounds really cringy to say but i'm one of those people that has like big faith in those like uh extraterrestrial conspiracies at least but that being said though that's the black knight satellite mystery do you believe it's true let me know in the comment section below what i do know is i will be going to the next website Ladies and gentlemen, that was deep web browsing, dank web browsing, dark web browsing. The part of the week where we take a look at that danker side of the internet. Now, this week's been very, very interesting. We've seen Dulce airbase photos. We've seen the Black Knight satellite mystery. We've seen a prepping website that uh, that apparently teaches us a lot about surviving in a post-apocalyptic universe, or well, in times of actual natural disaster. Uh, the beautiful world of the Dulce base photos. Like I cannot go over how dumb that was. And finally, last but not least, learning about Donald Trump and his family's legendary dumps. I wish I could make up some of the stuff that I covered, but hey, every week is different. And I kind of like these hiatus takes because we get a lot more of this weird shit tossed in. But hopefully next week we might have a spookier look at the deep web. I hope not. I'm, I'm done. I'm so glad the Red Room shit is gone. I'm so glad a lot of that scummy crap is out of the picture. But hey. We may come across it. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.